Hey everyone, it's Brett Hornby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, and welcome back to another Calgary Stampeders game day post. And the game won't be any bigger than it is tonight for week 19 in the 2023 CFL regular season. You could say we're somewhat fortunate that we could still talk about still keeping our playoff chances alive. As it's the Calgary Snap Eaters, they are 4 and 11 coming off of a bye last week. But the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, the team that we're chasing, they've also been struggling recently and they've been keeping that door wide open for potentially the Calgary Snap Eaters to chase them. As Calgary Snap Eaters back home at Man Stadium hosting the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Be a 7.30 p.m. kickoff on Friday, October the 13th. Ooh, Friday the 13th. Let's hope Jason Voorhees isn't uh, around to do his thing. At least we're not on Crystal Lake. I'll get back to the game at hand. I mean, Calgary is 4-11. Fourth in the West Division. A lot of the Saskatchewan Roughers, they are 6-10. Third in the West Division. And what's also at stake for this game is the season series. As, as you recall, Calgary lost the first game at home against Saskatchewan in overtime. And I remember it was an interception in the end zone to seal the victory for Saskatchewan. However, Calgary got revenge in Saskatchewan when we won in the last second field goal. But frustratingly, Saskatchewan was able to convert a third and 24 and score a touchdown to go ahead. So the season series is on the line. So whoever wins tonight will get the tiebreak in the season series. So if the Saskatchewan Rough Riders win, they clinch the final playoff spot and eliminate the Calgary Stampeders from playoff contention. However, if the Calgary Stampeders win, they take the season series and will be saying, go Argos next week. Because the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, all they have is tonight's game. And then they got a game, I believe it's at home against the Toronto Argonauts and they have week 21 off they don't have played last week Calgary's got Saskatchewan at home tonight and then they go to BC next week in BC and then they host the Winnipeg Blue Bombers to wrap up the season at home and who knows what could be on the line but I'm saying the Calgary Stampers could still potentially we could be as week as 6 and 12 and make the playoffs but we must, must win tonight, no matter how to slice it, if we're going to still have something to play for and make the playoffs. It will be a little bit of a challenge for Calgary, not only with the odds still stacked against them, but a couple key players that will not be in the lineup tonight for this must-win, do-or-die game, keep our playoff hopes alive, is receiver Reggie Bagleton. He did get banged up pretty hard a couple weeks ago in Hamilton, so he will not be in the lineup tonight. And same with Tommy Lee Lewis for the uh, return game. Those are the two big notables not going to be in the lineup tonight. However, Sean McEwen will be back at center, and I think we definitely missed him against the Hamilton Tiger Cats a couple weeks ago. And Peyton Logan. We'll be back in the backfield. So we got Peyton Logan and Kadeem Carey. Diedrich Mills will not be in the lineup tonight. So lots of shuffling around again for the uh, Calgary Stampeders. But hopefully, you know, this is enough bulletin board. But motivation material the Calgary Stampeders need is they must win. Or essentially your season is done and we'll just have two glorified preseason games to wrap up the season. And that's still, I'm going to say, going back to, we did not score a touchdown in Hamilton. It was all field goals. We only scored one touchdown against the Montreal Alouettes, the last home game here. I'm going to say, I, up the top of my head, the last 10 quarters, which has to go back to the uh, second half of the Labor Day rematch game, Calgary's only scored one touchdown, and that was in that Montreal game. So hopefully we can find the end zone. 
It's also, you could say, the battle of the Dickinson coaches. Craig on our side, and or Craig on their side, I should say, versus Saskatchewan Dave on our side. And then still the Jakes, because we still have Jake Mayer. Debate about him at quarterback this year, or Jake Dalvin Gala, who is, I think he's 6'7 for the Sketch Rough Fires. He's filled in for Trevor Harris. He looked good early in the start, but both teams, they have not won since Labor Day. Calgary's lost four in a row. We had two bye weeks in there. So he lost one on Labor Day, where we came back from 15 points down against the Elks in the fourth quarter. A lot of these Saskatchewan Ruffers, they have not won since Labor Day. They've lost five in a row, as they actually won an overtime thriller against the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, and they stopped a two-point conversion in overtime, so someone's due to win. It would definitely mess things up a lot more if we have a tie. Let's not worry about that, but it's a must-win for the Calgary Stampeders, and then personally... As a season ticket holder, they asked us at the start of the year if you want to be a flag holder ahead of the national anthem. I did say that, and they finally got to picking my name, so I'll be doing that at the game at the national anthem. So it probably means there might not be a warm-up rally. Definitely, I don't think I'm going to be able to record the uh, introductions from field level, as I'll be too busy holding the flag. And then i got to take my hat off during the anthem as well, so... But there'll be a fireworks show at the end of the game. So at least I'll record that from the game. But this is my Calgary Stampeders game day post for week 19 on Friday, October the 13th in 2023. It's a must-win game for the Calgary Stampeders to uh, keep their playoff hopes alive. And say the Calgary Stampeders, they last missed the playoffs in the CFL in 2004 and at that time Calgary was still sobering up from the Stanley Cup run that the Flames provided and we were still in the F Troop era so that tells you how long it's been Dave Bronconi was uh, still the mayor and uh, Daryl Sutter his first go around the Flames as head coach general manager and we had Matt Dunnigan as head coach and general manager for the Calgary Stampeders and he's only coached that one year with Calgary. Now he's on TSN now, so that's how far back I'm going that the last time the Stampeders missed the playoffs. But I'm going to say hopefully we can uh, at least still keep us nut and believe. I'm believing right now that we'll find a way to win and keep things interesting. I keep seeing that door open for the sketch roughers. We just haven't been able to uh, walk through it. So how many more chances do we get? So anyway, a little closing out, as I say, if you want to follow along with this Calgary Sports fan's journey, just make sure you hit like and subscribe, as I also do Calgary Sports stuff on my YouTube channel. I finally caught up with uh, draft recaps, and I got my uh, jersey on bagging and finally done, so you can enjoy those videos. So I'm going to say, go Stamps Go, I'm going to keep the faith and believe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.